Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are ready for another DIY this week. I'm glad you could join me. Let's get into the tutorial. So today we're gonna transform this plain wooden box into a spruced up succulent planter box so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the sticker off of the box because as you can see it is upside down the quote in and of itself make today amazing is a great quote and hopefully you guys are doing that today but it's very easy to remove it came off without any residue being left on the box so I'm gonna start off by putting a plastic bag under the box because I do not want this stain to get on the work table. Then I am just going to take the rag, wipe off any dust that may be on the box, and I'm going to use this Minwax Wood Finish Penetrating Stain in the color Dark Walnut, and it is going to completely transform this box. So I'm going to just use the little latch hook to open up the can. Before I opened it up, I did shake it to mix everything together, but I am gonna get this little wooden stirrer and give it a good stir, just for good safety measures and to make sure everything is completely together inside the can. And then basically all I'm gonna do is take the rag, dip it in, the wood stain and coat the box now as you'll see I realized it goes right through the rag so I went and I got some gloves and then I came back and started the process so a little bit goes a long way and the longer that you leave the stain on the darker the color will turn out to be I really don't want it to be too too dark so I am going pretty light with the coverage and you're just gonna keep going until you cover all four sides of the box. And once you get done, you'll wanna let this completely dry before you start to work with it anymore. So once I got done with all four sides, I did go ahead and coat the top and the inside that shows. Um, luckily this box actually came with the foam and the like green faux grass inside of it already. And so that's why I didn't bother to try to take this out, um, but just stain it and give it a different look. But I do want to cover in the light insides of the box just so that it's a lot more cohesive. Okay, so here it is the next day. There is a few areas that is, are still wet on the box, but I am going to just go ahead and work around that. So once you get to having the box dry, you just want to take your succulents and place them in whatever fashion you like. And like I said, uh, <laughs> as you can see, it has some of the grass and the foam on some of them because I did play around with the configuration before I started filming and then did not realize that it was going to pull out the inside like that. So <laughs> I just play around and go ahead and put them in. I changed up the configuration from when I messed around with it earlier. And once you get all of the succulents in, 
you can leave either leave the box as is with just the stained wood or you can go a step further like I did I decided I wanted to add a word onto the front of the box so I just took my pencil and I went ahead and sketched out the word and then I took a little bit of paint and a paintbrush and painted over it and then as you'll see in the next clip I just added a little bit of decoration to the sides of the box just to completely change it up a little bit more and the paint that I'm using is a metallic and so it shines and it's really pretty when the light hits it. So here's what the planner looked like before. And here is what the planner looks like now. The wood stain really changed up the look of this box as well as adding in the metallic painted word. I chose hope. That's actually my favorite word. Um, I think hope just explains a lot of things even if things aren't going well or there's even been a pattern of negativity. You can always hope for a change hope for something new happening and to me hope is just a beautiful word and so I that's what the word I decided to paint on my box as well as I decided to add some metallic waves going completely around the other three sides of the box connecting the word hope because I think hope is everlasting and it keeps on going but what do you guys think I really like how this box turned out, how the planner box turned out, and I think it would look really cute as a centerpiece or even just a house decoration. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video finding that planner box that was already put together and already had the foam and the grass that came with it was a real big lifesaver and so just being able to completely give it a new look was really nice and so all you will do is really the messiest part is the stain and if you put on gloves you won't have a problem with it and so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you're having a great week. And I hope you guys always stay creating. Hey, you guys thought I was gone, didn't you? I just wanted to come back on real quick and remind you guys of a topic that we talked about a few weeks ago uh, called the Artist Spotlight. I have decided to air my first Artist Spotlight this coming Friday right here on this channel as well as on my Instagram page, haiku underscore creations. That way you guys will have links to the first Artist Spotlight in this spotlight. So I hope you guys come back on Friday and see who the artist spotlight number one will be. I figure I'll do this once a month just so that I don't overwhelm you guys <laughs> with creators, but I want to showcase creators that I know or creators that I admire that's doing great things in the community. So I really hope you guys come back on Friday and catch that video. 
And again, thanks for joining me this week. I hope you guys have a great one. All right, see you next time.